Two American aid workers who contracted Ebola in Liberia have been discharged from a U.S. hospital infection-free. Dr. Kent Brantley and Nancy Wrightbull were each given an experimental drug, but doctors still don't know if it played any role in their recoveries. Cass Rusi has the story. With his wife by his side, a smiling Dr. Kent Brantley was cheered as he made his way inside a room at Emory University Hospital. Today is a miraculous day. I'm thrilled to be alive, to be well, and to be reunited with my family. Brantley was rushed to this U.S. hospital earlier this month, arriving in full protective gear. He'd been in Liberia as a missionary, treating Ebola patients when he was infected with the virus. It's there he received, along with colleague Nancy Wrightbowl, an experimental drug, a treatment never before used on humans. Through the care of the Samaritan's Purse and SIM missionary team in Liberia, the use of an experimental drug and the expertise and resources of the healthcare team at Emory University Hospital, God saved my life. Wright Bull was quietly discharged earlier this week and asked for privacy. As she walked out of her isolation room, all she could say was, to God be the glory. Brantley also says he needs some private time to recover, physically and mentally, but not before thanking those who cared for him. The medical team leader told reporters both Americans don't pose any health risk to the public. To the extent that we have tested, uh, there is no evidence of Ebola virus infection in their bodies. Uh, they don't, as a general rule, relapse and they don't spread virus to anyone else. Less certain is whether the experimental serum actually helped the Americans. Frankly, we do not know whether it helped them whether it made no difference or even theoretically if it delayed their recovery. Doses of that experimental drug which arrived in Liberia's capital last week have now been given to two doctors and a nurse, the first Africans to get the drug. One of the doctors and the nurse are reportedly showing signs of improvement. With the two Americans now recovered, their doctors say they'll use what they've learned from treating them to assist those still working on the front lines of the Ebola outbreak in West Africa. Cass Rusi, CBC News, Toronto.